gentlemen, welcome to the graduation ceremony of class 2015. I request the audience to kindly rise for the graduates. International School Batch of 2015. Congratulations and welcome to the first ever graduating ceremony. Thank you to all the teachers who've journeyed with us to make this happen and a very warm welcome to all the parents and family. Tonight is the night where you, my friends, finally will become graduates. And parents, it's time for you to sit back and proudly enjoy your child making the transition. I'm going to start off this evening with a quote by Ellen DeGeneres. For those who don't know, Ellen was the guest speaker at the 2009 Tulane University commencement. She made, a very, she made a quote very relevant to the significance of this day. Definition of success changes. Success is to live your life with integrity and not to give in to peer pressure to, be, to try to be something that you're not. Success is to be honest and to contribute in some way. Follow your passion and stay true to yourself. Never follow someone else's path unless you're stuck in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, by all means, you should follow that. You, Batch of 2015, are the first ones to even tread into the woods. You, have, you may have made mistakes or would now look back and want to do things differently, but you powered all the challenges and you paved way for us. So on behalf of all you juniors, thank you, and I hope you create your own footprints on your new journey. So let us embark this new beginning with an auspicious event, lighting the lamp. I would request our oldest student who's been here since 2011, Vera Boyna Nikhil, and Mrs. Priya, our vice principal. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Nikhil, for accompanying them. His name echoes the essence of intellect, dedication, and passion. He's a fellow member of several professional bodies, like the Indian National Academy of Engineering, Astronautical Society of India, Aeronautical Society of India, and a full member for the International Academy of Astronautics at Paris. This highly distinguished individual's outstanding profile just doesn't end there. He he was the head of the Indian delegation for the United, United Nations Committee on U Peaceful Uses of Outer Space at Vienna, Austria, during, the, during 2004 to 2007. His achievements also include a Lifetime Achievement Award by the INAE, the Aryabhata Award in 2009 by the ASI, an Outstanding Achievement Award by ISRO, and many more. His contributions to science and technology have been of enormous significance in the industry's development. His achievements are unparalleled, and so is his spirit. Please join me in welcoming Dr. B. N. Suresh. Dr. Whip, can we please have your words? Good evening to all of you. Uh, Mr. Suresh Reddy, Mrs. Priyanan, and uh, graduating students of 2015, their proud parents, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be in this uh, beautiful campus of this Kandar International School. And also on this happy occasion, I would like to felicitate and congratulate all nine graduating students. 
and wish them all the very best in their future endeavors. I was just looking at the emblem of uh, the, when I got the visiting card, it just says on top, preparing for life. How true it is. You see, when you just come out of plus two, I would like to tell to my friends here that this is the turning point. This is the place where you are going to prepare yourself for life. How do you do that? My own experience is that we need to pursue, prepare ourselves to face the future in the area of my interest, in the area of your interest. I think it is for you to search within yourselves what is that you would like to pursue. Not that someone has told so or there is a big market available or I have a very excellent job opportunities available. No. Ultimately, what is the goal? Each one of us, we need to achieve a goal at the end of our career. We must be remembered for something. That is extremely important. You know, accumulating wealth is only one aspect. But enabling ourselves to do something which will be remembered forever, that is extremely important. I would like to convey to our young friends who are here, who are graduating today, try to search amongst yourselves and decide that what is that you would like to do and pursue it with single aim and single goal. In this world today, the opportunities are several. In fact, it is multiplying. I think all of us know that if you really look at the how the whole humankind got evolved, it's maybe around 50, 60,000 years, but then it's only in the last 500 years it picked up and last 50 years it further really exponentially picked up and you really look at the last five years, phenomenal. The way in which things are happening all over the globe, not only in India, any part, any nook and corner of the whole globe. And there was one time to reach across different places, it was very difficult. Today, the whole globe has shrunk. It has become a, what we term in a common language as the global village. What you do here has an effect elsewhere on the other part of the, our globe. You know, that is how we, the, the whole activities, they are so very well knitted. But when I say that there are opportunities, at the same time, there are also challenges. Don't run away from challenges. I think you have to take, like catching the bull by horn, then only you can say yourself that you have done something great. Try to catch the bull by horn. What it means? It only means that don't try to do or try to think in a traditional way. I think those days have gone. If you just follow the beaten path, you are not going to achieve anything. We have to think innovatively. We have to think out of the box. When I say that out of the box, it's not an easy path, it's a very difficult path. But then, as long as I have the self-determination and more than anything, confidence, the very fact that you are all today graduating from this institute, I believe that you have that determination, you have the confidence and believe in yourself. If you are able to really synergize which way I need to proceed, that is of your interest, you, you sort of derive pleasure by doing that. You know, anything that you do out of compulsion, you do. You may excel too, but then it's not your cup of tea. You must really look for your cup of tea, 
take that interest pursue that face the challenge think out of the box and proceed i am sure that you are going to achieve that what you want to achieve and at the end of the day as i mentioned right in the beginning you are proud parents they should become much more prouder the place that you come from they should recognize your virtues and they should remember you and in the process the entire society entire nation everybody remembers look at how people have really registered their names forever i think education is that education is only enabling one self to take up the challenges and proceed forward but one thing i would like to remind before closing i don't want to take too much of your time that learning is a process which is there for ever it's it's only a beginning for you even at this age i cherish learning why i say that is only when you learn certain things you can remember if you are able to remember you can do many things there are places where i learn to write exam to get good grades good marks my my cv looks extremely good but if you ask me a question on anything i am unable to answer because i am unable to remember that so learning process is that you should learn on a continuous basis you should remember things you know today with the kind of information flow that is available that is what they call today big data in fact if you are not able to accumulate that kind of data register in your brain it synthesize and then utilize it for the benefit of yourself for the benefit of society we are nowhere i am not really frightening you but it's possible because the level of iq that is available from my generation to the next generation to the next i think you may be third or even fourth generation when i compare to myself i don't think i can compete with you let me be very honest so you have such a potential utilize it for your benefit for the benefit of society for the benefit of human kind before i close i would like to end by saying that while we wish to excel and try to achieve something please remember one thing the bottom line that whatever we do ultimately should help the society to help the human kind you know we have to become really good human beings being good human being itself is a great achievement be a good human being and as well as achieve in the area that you are interested i think you have you are going to leave good imprint on this globe and you'll be remembered for ever and let me convey my very best wishes to each one of you here who is sitting on the stage as well as compliment the kender international school for really doing an excellent job i'm very indeed very happy to be in this campus and to share my thoughts with each one of you and let me also congratulate all the parents who are here i think uh, you should really feel proud that they are coming out of this uh, competitive international school with colors and believe me that they are going to do a lot more in their future endeavors thank you thank you for those inspiring words sir it's a true honor to have you here amongst us uh please allow us to express our gratitude by accepting this token of our love and affection for you I request our chairman Mr Suresh Reddy to gather the address the gathering Good evening Good evening to our esteemed uh, chief guest Dr P N Suresh students staff and parents our first batch of ib diploma students are graduating from kanda congratulations guys it really you know gives me 
great pleasure to see so many of us here today because five years ago this place is a piece of land and today from an empty piece of land to educating citizens of the world Canada has grown from being a dream to a living and growing organization consisting of staff students and parents today i would like to share with you on this day